Hey, good morning here. This is Christy Mattoon from Mind Rewire. And I'm sitting outside listening to the birds sing, drinking my cup of coffee this morning. And I wanted to tell you a little bit. Is that a good... Oop, that's really bad. Um, tell you a little bit about a case study that I did. Um, not very scientific because I'm not that kind of person, but it was a little case study I did. Just talking to clients and listening to what they were saying about creating a cadence. So one of the things that I talk about a lot in the classes I teach is having a cadence in your life, a cadence with the practice that you do, no matter what it is. If you created a cadence to it, right, the walk of life, the, the ability to walk through something or um, continue in it steadily, right, creates a whole different scenario. Oh, that looks much, much better. Creates a whole different scenario for your outcome. So think about what a cadence is. A cadence is a, is a very um, steady pattern, right? If you're on a bike and you're in a cadence, you can go fast pedaling, that's a cadence. You can slow down, that's a cadence. Slow and steady, right, is a nice cadence. So the cadence that I talk about is three minutes every hour. Three minutes every hour right to bring yourself back into a heart coherent state or to check into your heart what this tends to do is it trains your system it trains your subconscious it trains your actions it trains your reactions into a heart coherent state it trains you into this heart coherence if you only do something once in a while <laughs> you're only going to get the benefits when you're doing it if you do something consistently and you stay in it, you keep yourself in that activity, and I will show this to you here in just a second, you will see a benefit, positive or negative, right? Let's use anger as an example. A person who consistently practices anger, they get angry about everything. You know these people, I know these people. And they stay in that practice, what it shows up in their life. What do you see in their life? What kind of benefit do they get from that anger? Okay. How about a person who lies? <laughs> Look at some of our politicians or most of them. I don't even know. The act of lying consistently reaps a benefit. Yeah. Think about that one for a second. Now, if you stayed heart, co heart coherent consistently, if that was your practice and I did this, three minutes out of every hour of the day, right? And you can use this with anything, just three minutes out of every hour of every waking moment, right? So every moment that you're awake during the day. And I kept coming back into this heart coherent state every hour. Eventually I would never leave that state because I've trained my body that that's its normal way to be right? It's a normal place. It's a normal saturation of good chemicals. It's that's its new homeostasis. I train it into the system. Does that make sense? Is this helpful? If you only sit down and meditate once a day or once every other day, or, you know, you do these huge blown out two hour sessions, you have to hit a peak that rocks your system to get it to stay in that new saturation. If it does, for many people it doesn't, right? It's this back and forth, I don't know if I can, I can't, uh, right? Or they can't clear their brain enough to even get there. But three minutes a day, most people can do. I've only run into a few people, and actually quite a lot of people. So this is where my case study came in. The people who were fighting me the hardest about, there's no way I can do that three minutes out of every hour I'm awake. And what I tell people to do, here's the easy way to do it, is set your phone. You have a timer on your phone. Set your phone to go off every hour and then take three minutes. I don't care where you are, standing up, sitting down, eyes open, eyes closed. It doesn't matter. Take a few deep breaths, drop into your heart space and sit there for three minutes. Don't do anything else. Let everything quiet down. That's it. That's it. Three minutes out of every hour. And then people fight me tooth and nail on this. The people who did it, right? So I have 20 people that I've talked to pretty extensively about how they did this and what their approach was and how it worked for them. The people who did it saw the results the fastest. 
the people who actually said, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to set, cause nothing else has worked, right? I practiced, I did, took a course and did this thing and eh, whatever, right? All the time you hear this stuff, you've done this stuff. I did this stuff. And with any one of those things, if I had made a habit or a practice out of doing it consistently over time, the thing itself would have worked better. Yeah. But we don't tend to do that. So here's what I thought with heart coherence, like because it does put better chemicals in your system. It does have a healing response from your heart to your brain, right? This is science. We know that this works. And so of these 20 people that said, Hey, I actually did this for three minutes every day. And what at the time I think I was saying, do it for at least three weeks, see what happens. Come back to me and tell me what happens. Um, one girl ended up with her own, um, I think it's on Awoken TV, her own little program on Awoken TV. She ended up with a, a thing with them. Um, one guy just called me the other day and he had practiced and done a lot, a lot of what I did or what I told him to do. And we worked through some things. We did private sessions with this guy. Um, and he's a millionaire now. <laughs> he has a couple million dollars stashed away that he was like it came out of nowhere and it was the weirdest thing he actually did things there was steps to it but when the steps showed up he was coherent enough to grasp them and to do whatever it was he was doing um another person her her whole life just changed she was calm she lost all of her anxiety her diseases started melting away her problems were going away she quit fighting so much at work another lady i worked with actually changed changed out all of the people in her workspace the people that were causing the drama causing the problems and she would just sit there in a heart coherent state and all of a sudden these people started quitting <laughs> it's crazy and the interesting thing is the people who didn't do it are still struggling right so of 20 people the four or five people who actually did the practice the way it was prescribed had amazing crazy results the people who didn't had amazing, crazy results, but they're still trying to be like, uh, 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 right? I gotta get, I gotta get heart coherent. I got, if you practice it all the time, there isn't, I gotta get heart coherent. You train your body to stay heart coherent. Does that make sense? If you turn the system on and you train it to be on because it was trained not to be on, right? You were trained to sit on the phone and watch movies and videos and blah, blah, blah right we trained it the wrong way that's the issue we want to train it the right way and get ourselves back into a state of wholeness where the system works the way it's supposed to and it requires steady right i think scripture says frequent fervent prayer the frequent fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much and if you're praying in a manner that is in um, coherence with your spirit that is an attribute has a feeling to it, right? Of your spirit, of the higher vibrational spirit feelings. And you say that prayer over and over, guess what's gonna happen, right? But most of us don't do that. We go, we waffle back and forth and the waffling back and forth will knock you out every time. It does not work. You have to find a consistency, a frequency that will carry you through it. All right, so that's my case study. <laughs> I don't know that it's a real case study, but that's what I call it as a case study. When you do anything consistently over a period of time, you will see results that will be better than if you did something once in a while, kind of half-assed. That's the truth, right? We see it in sports people, the high-end sports people. I guarantee you they practice way more than the low-end sports people. Yes? The people who practice their guitar all the time do way better. Are they more amazing, right? Their, their, their skills are more incredible than the people who practice once in a while, right? Do you dedicate yourself to your practice? Now here's something interesting, and I'm just gonna say this really fast and get off. There's a lot of crap going on in this world that's just now opening up and becoming um, known to us. And on the um, scale of Luciferian information and different things like that, um, it's weird whether you think this is real or think it's not real. There's crap in this world. These people practice their craft way more than most Christians pray fervently. Did you hear what I just said? They do. They practice, practice what they do. They have rituals and ceremonies and prayers and all kinds of 
right? Signs and symbols. And we, we see these things in our world and we wonder where all the mayhem comes from. It's because they practice frequently and fervently and it's affecting everybody. I guarantee you, if you do the same thing on the positive side, it will start affecting everybody. It's a global effort to keep your information and your, an information meaning feeling, right? You're sending a signal out into the universe. This electromagnetic, electromagnetic field that we're a part of right now is carrying so much negative vibration and negative frequency, people are just being pelted by it. On the other side of that, um, the electromagnetic field is also carrying the positive, right? So you have to keep your mind into that space and you have to keep your heart open to that information. And that's where I think all of this comes in. The frequent fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much was not a joke. That was very serious. And that is what they do consistently. Most, um, most people don't. Spiritual people, people in a spiritual practice, most right and it's a level of consciousness you start figuring out well i have to do this all the time to get it to really function train your body to do it train your heart to respond like that train your system to be on train your your chakras never to get stuck oh my chakra my throat i hear this all the time my throat chakra is stuck like, ah. and it probably is right because you haven't got to that place where you've gotten it cleaned out or you've got the energy not cleaned out but the energy flowing through it yeah and if you can just train your system, and it's literally what you believe is what will become. If I train my system to see all my chakras in living, brilliant, moving, vibrant color, and they're open and the information's flowing, guess what happens? If you see it, you can create it, right? If you see it, if I see it. I don't know, and then practice it all the time, right? So I check back into it until all of a sudden... It's just there all the time. Peace is there all the time because that's what I practiced was peace. Yeah? All right. I want to bless you. Thank you for being here. This was a little bit longer than normal. Um, but that's my case, case study. <laughs> Somebody asked me, do you have any case studies? <laughs> there you go. That's my case study. Bless you, and I'll talk to you soon.